what is going on you guys back with another video today i just want to make a quick video showing some more of the csl mods that i've done to my e46 m3 uh, i made a video a couple months ago um, showing the first csl mods that i did and i uh, said i would make a part two as i got some more stuff done so this is the part two to that video let's jump right into it so as you guys can see i did the csl trunk and uh, I paid about 1500 bucks for it. The stock trunk looks good, um, but it just doesn't look that aggressive where the CSL trunk just has that kick and it just looks so good. Really transformed the back of this car. And so I did the CSL trunk and I also did the CSL rear diffuser. I paid 430 bucks for the CSL diffuser I got this one from Turner Motorsport, and as you guys can see, um, I just painted the outside of the diffuser. I left the inner part carbon fiber. So the next thing that I did, and this was probably one of the hardest things to find for this car, the CSL door sill plates. Basically, this was something I was waiting for for so long. I found a set on ECS tuning, they just had one pair, just kind of got sick of waiting and I canceled it. I tried to go buy them a week later, put them back in my cart and they were gone. They had no longer available up on the site. Um, so that kind of sucked and set me back a little bit, but um, I was able to get a set from uh, OEM Customs on Instagram. He made these for me actually. So basically he just made this inner part here, which is an exact replica of the OEM ones. Um, and then I just bought um, a new plastic piece here and then uh, ripped the old one out, put the CSL one in and it's brand new now. You really can't get these anymore. Definitely would recommend going through him. And if anybody out there wants to get a set of these made, um, he is awesome. They took uh, a, like a month or two to come in, but it was well worth the wait. And yeah, super happy. They look exactly like the OEM ones. So last but not least, a uh, really small piece of the puzzle, but it was necessary. So in my last video, you guys probably saw that I have the CSL center console, but I didn't have an e-brake boot. So I finally just got this OEM CSL e-brake boot. Um, I've never been so happy in my life to have a small piece of leather like this, but this was another thing that is so hard to find and you need the CSL e-brake boot for the center console, but I got it from Turner Motorsport. It took a really long time to come uh, because they had to source it from somewhere else, I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, it was 160 bucks. Don't see any more of these available online. I don't think you can get them anymore. Obviously, you could probably get something made or mess with, you know, the trim piece to get it to fit. But with little things like this, I really, you know, like to go OEM if I can. But yeah, that was a huge pain to find, but I'm so glad that I have it now because it just completes this um, interior section here. And the e-brake just looked a little weird without the boot there. Um, so it took months to come, but super happy that I finally have it. And the interior looks a lot better now. Some of you guys probably noticed um, my last video, I had the Recaros in this car, and now I have just the stock leather seats in. So. The Recaros actually went into the 1M clone. So this car has the stock seats right now and they're in decent shape. They're not bad. Um, this, the driver's seat is a little worn, but yeah, for a stock seat, they're really not too bad. You know, they don't hug you as much as I'd like, but they are pretty comfortable and I got them for a deal. So obviously that's what's next on the list. CSL seats, door cards, and carbon roof. The door cards I'm really excited for though, especially with the carbon center console. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. It was definitely long overdue. I know it's been a while since I posted about this car, um, but it was actually at the body shop for a while. I got some other things done on the car while it was there. Um, we did new side skirts. My other ones had some rock chips on it and uh, just some other corrosion things that were starting underneath that I wanted to take care of. Happy that I got that out of the way and don't have to worry about that down the road. It's just really 
really cool to see where this car is at now compared to when I first bought it. Um, and honestly, these are the type of builds to me that are the most fun because it just, you know, there's so many things, you know, that it needed, but just the end result, seeing, you know, where this car is at now has just been so rewarding. And that's really why I love, you know, these older cars. So, all right, guys, that is it for today's video. Like always, thank you for watching. I'm really gonna try to start making more and more videos. Um, there's definitely a lot more coming with this car and the 1M clone, a lot more coming with that car. Um, so stay tuned, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.